the June 6, 2023 market internal review. Let me go ahead and take a look here at SPY. We had a gap down scenario with some weak price action. Tick showing very little movement on either side. You can see here no 500 breaks on the up or down side until about 10 o'clock. We do finally get our first break. Trend struggling to be in a balance or imbalance. Off and on here kind of speckled throughout. We do have average tick closures over zero. So in that way, we're looking a little bit bullish. Add and Vold Band surely, uh, surely aligned with that. The trend triangle is showing bullish as well. We reclaim the session TWAP here about 10 o'clock. And we do make a move up, but I'll be honest with you, if you're an options trader, this probably would have made you pretty nervous. If you're not very seasoned or if you're just trying to scalp for a couple points, this is going to be quite difficult, especially with this 60 cent some pullback here. And then we got this choppy price delivery up until this, this nice move here. Now price came up here and tested previous day's session TWAP. So it's pretty interesting to see that rejection right back below and reject again finally to head back down into the lower standard deviation band. So if you like to do counter trend trades, this one here would have been pretty nice, but you didn't have a whole lot of indication other than the tick extreme closures here giving you an indication of perhaps an overbought signal. Later in the day here, about 11.30, we start to show a balanced market per trend. Now we do still have some extreme closures here, but you notice these are from this price, uh, yeah, so so you can see right here, this extreme closure is a lower price than the last two. Uh, this one, it's about the same. So with that, we've got uh, not a whole lot of agreement on fair value beyond this TWAP line. Now we did make one more attempt here, even though trend is showing an, uh, a balance, we do have a strong add and fold band. We try to make one more attempt here to break out of the standard deviation and last session's TWAP. That rejected and we break down to lower second standard deviation. That does agree with the ad showing a bearish reversal. Now we do start to see some tick closures down here and we finally start to see tick closures below zero but we're really just oscillating around. You can see the ad and vold bands are still bullish overall. We break out of that imbalance, but it's still spotty here towards the last part of the afternoon session. We do make a heroic reclaim. Everything starting to look bullish right about here. The only thing we don't have is trend, but price does reclaim TWAP and we eventually test Yesterday's uh, session TWAP price of about 428 for the, what is that, fourth time, third or fourth time, depending on how you want to look at it. Quite insane, and this price action here just to me looks algorithmically delivered. Quite nuts to see that. So overall though, the price today on SPY, let's see, we, we made about a $1.37 price move. So overall, not very bullish, not very bearish, mostly flat. Tick levels, beautifully distributed with the thickest at the top, medium thickness here in the middle, and the thinnest one at the bottom. Another range day. Perfect day for selling options, zero day contracts to let the time rot them away. Take a look at Q's. Q's much the same, similar tick levels, similar price action. The fun one today was actually the Russell. This one had the best agreement with the internals. I've been watching Russell a little bit more closely given that small caps have a little bit more volatility than the rest of the market, so it seems. All the earnings from techs kind of died off, so trying to find some volatility in this market to get some good movement has been challenging. The Russell here, though, provided today. You can see with the trend imbalance and all the bullish signals here, the Russell was ready to pay anybody paying attention. Grabbed a nice piece of this myself today, a couple times. Very nice, smooth price action. It'll be interesting to see what happens tomorrow with the Russell. This was a rather big move for the Russell, and I believe they were actually one of the strongest out of the indexes overall today, which is kind of nuts. Yeah, they made a five, almost a five and a half dollar move today. Incredible. Okay, so reviewing the tick, we do see per the chunking strategy that I like to employ, 
We had a majority bullish tick today, as we already know, looking at the MIT indicator. Had a couple of nice breaks up here. Then we do have somewhat of a neutral to potentially bearish sentiment change in the middle part of the session. And then we, you can see we definitely make a nice flip back up where we're closing primarily up in the positive 500 area and above. So here's uh, looking at ad. How neat that we started basically at that 341 level. I've pointed out in the past couple of videos. Breaking above zero, quite strong, and we just really continue to take off from there. Some historic levels that I've had from other videos showing some bounces. That's quite entertaining. And then we basically just stay in that bullish zone for the rest of the day. We close with about 1,700-ish stocks in the New York Stock Exchange uh, in advancement. Rather interesting. And we're going to go ahead and look at VOLD. So VOLD. Wow, what an amazing amount of volume pumping into the market. And this is just another incredible extreme bullish close for Vold. We looking at the trend. We finally breaking below the bearish 1.7518 area we were stuck in a couple days prior. Now we're down into the normal area that represents an oversold market. Again, I do think this is susceptible somewhat to some data skew. Here at 1130, there's that balance zone that the MIT indicator was putting on display for us. Here's those areas where we're battling to break out of balance. With VOLD closing to such an extreme high and SPY having barely moved today, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and have a slightly bearish attitude coming into the market. I wouldn't be surprised to perhaps see maybe even another gap down. But uh, we'll, we'll definitely take a look tomorrow, obviously, and, and deal with whatever the market provides. The monthly TWAP, 425 is the current price. And after we broke below the first deviation yesterday... We held below that the whole time today. We didn't make any real movement towards the actual price of 425. However, weekly TWAP is going to show us a pretty similar price to today just because it's only Tuesday. We still have some additional time yet this week to develop a little bit more of a price. And we've been mostly flat. Okay, folks, I'm going to take a look at Apple here. So they definitely struggled today. I watched them oscillate, and they built some interesting lows. Yeah, nothing too fascinating here. NVIDIA didn't hold the 400 price. They had a nice dip down today. Did reclaim, but ultimately flat. Take a look at chips as a whole here. Actually closed above, so there could be some other chips, uh, Micron or AMD. I'm not going to look at all of those, but... Some interesting price action here. All right, folks, I think that sums up the internal review today for SPY and a handful of other ETFs that we reviewed and names. If you've got any questions, you know where to leave them. If you've got any suggestions for the indicators or anything else you'd like to see, you know where to leave a comment. As always, happy trading, and thank you for watching.